Would you go to Mars? Scratch that. Yes. Would you go to Mars if you had to eat poo poo to do it? <laughs> that is the question I am asking you today because there mm. is. Um, Who's? Uh, there's a discussion about. <sighs> How, what are you gonna do for food on another planet, especially on one? Mars? Yes, and you, you grow can't, potatoes. No, just potatoes. Mm, Taters I don't know for if that's, days. I know it worked in the movie. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know if it would work in real life because okay, they true. had a whole situation that hasn't been invented in reality. That's true. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is something that came from the journal Life Sciences and Space Research, and some astrobiologists from Penn State uh, decided, or not decided, discovered that with a little microbial Magic, we could turn poop into food. Stay with me. So yeah, the way this all it works, takes is sriracha. No, and you're good. <laughs> it's actually not that complicated. It's it turns a big out. Bottle of sriracha. Oh, scientists! I need a PhD to turn it into food. <laughs> oh God, John. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't smell great, the but thing, uh, I know your eating habits too, and it's not that far away. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying he eats poo poo, but I am saying he eats junk food. I don't spread that. <laughs> I am saying John Idarola eats poop. <laughs> Um, so what they do is they take the waste and use a uh, an anaerobic waste treatment process, which is used on Earth to treat our sewage, um, that is able to culture three bacterial species, two of which, Thermus aquaticus and Methococcus capulatus, uh, make protein and lipid rich biomass that can be directly consumed. <sighs> Huh? Mm. Oh, Sustainable. God. When I get off a long shift at work, I just want lipid rich biomass. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like I guess I guess we shouldn't be surprised. Like if you read sci-fi novels, this is always what they eat. Like The Expanse is a great uh, series that's been out, and they're constantly eating like textured protein and weird soy <laughs> byproducts and stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of fungus and a lot of bacteria. Well, you could instead use the poo goo mm -hmm. to feed maybe some fish or mm -hmm. some other kind of an animal mm -hmm. food source. Huh? Huh? You could eat huh? something that eats poop. We already do that with catfish. That's true. But if you are what you eat, then doesn't that just pass the buck? You're a poop fish. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, hypothetically, I think like there's so many other problems to having any sort of like livestock. I don't see that being an option for space travel or for I mean maybe you like freeze them and then once we have a colony set up you can bring them back or something. But like think about the the possibilities of disease and contamination. Like and plus we know that feeding animals food to then eat is like 10 times more inefficient than simply eating the stuff yourself. It is so, the microbe is already approved to feed animals on mm -hmm. earth including fish, pigs and other farm creatures. Okay. So it's not as far fetched as it is for the astronauts themselves to be spreading it on toast or having a big glass of frothy <laughs> biomass. I tried Marmite once, I think it was. Is that what you would compare it to? Uh, after tasting it, yeah. Okay. That's exactly what I'd compare it. Sorry, Australia. Australia and New Zealand. Sorry, what do you think of John's thoughts on your nation's food? <laughs> First of all, don't call it food. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. It's it's its own thing. Yeah, I, I'm sure we have things in American culture that would be disgusting to other people. Some people don't like pop tarts as much as I do. Nobody likes pop tarts as much as okay. you do. There you go. Audience, would you go to space if you had to eat biomass that came from your own poop? Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more poop.